first check-in of the weekend. Hello! <laughs> It is Sunday, September 18th, and what a day. <laughs> so I've had a change of plan. My daughter was supposed to come over uh, late afternoon to have dinner, but uh, she had a change of plan, so I'm not sure why I'm telling you this. <laughs> it's totally irrelevant. Um, but one big major thing happened this afternoon. Guess what? My internet crashed again. Surprise! It's, it keeps crashing every day and now it's like two or three times a day. I called my provider again this afternoon and we tested everything that we could test. I had to do again more gymnastics to try and wedge my big fat butt in between the washing machine and the panel where my modem is and the ethernet cable is about this long. <laughs> this long? So I had to literally crawl crawl on the floor get my laptop uh, to do the test i had to plug in the ethernet cable from the modem bypass the router plug it directly into my computer anyways make a long story short we kind of determined that the problem was my uh, airport my router so to make things easier for the future i've decided to rent a router from my provider and they will send it to me by mail and I will probably get it on Wednesday <laughs> they don't send a technician they just ship it by mail it's already configured and uh, apparently it's plug-and-play so this vlog that I am talking to you right now you probably won't be seeing on Monday but maybe afterwards uh, I'll I'll try to upload it before then, but if my connection keeps dropping, then I won't have a choice but to do what I can. Uh, so I can't make any promises. But right now you're watching me, so I don't know what day it will be. <laughs> but I'm aiming for Monday. So if you're watching this on Monday, wonderful. Okay, I have made a few pieces of art. And the first one that I will show you is this one here. Uh, this was done on Friday, so I've done this uh, pear tree. I'm gonna try and catch the light. I'm gonna try and catch the light on those pears. This was done with the aim of practicing um, precision watercolor. See how the leaves are not? There's no variation in color. They're like one simple color. The tree has some patterns, but not the leaves. This was achieved by um, controlling the amount of watercolor that I put on the leaves and trying to really have like defined lines, not going out of the lines and that kind of thing. So I did that on Friday and then yesterday um, I have done something that I filmed for you all. Now at this point that I'm talking to you, I haven't reviewed the footage but I know that at the beginning, um, once I started, probably midway, I almost gave up because it was not going anywhere. So this is the end result. Um, I'm trying to flash the gold here so that you can see it. But I will insert the clip here. As I said, I haven't reviewed it, so fingers crossed that um, you'll be able to tell what I did. I used this piece as a test for some colors for the... Uh, the project I made on the 12th, <coughs> excuse me, the trees with the gold. And so this was my swatch sheet. And then these two um, <laughs> things, <laughs> these two blue things, uh, they look like this. And I was testing something else on this. So I often do this. I use a piece of watercolor and I test on it. And this morning I got up and I had this idea in my head. Uh, somehow I was seeing an antelope here <laughs> so I'm looking on Pinterest right now trying to see if I can find a good reference um, you know I'm just scrolling through okay I think I found one I took a, a screenshot and I'm gonna blow this up because I think this is one that closely could kind of be <laughs> in a good pose so I'm just gonna do the head the details lost a little bit but I'm gonna try and draw this 
I might come up with my own brand of antelope. Brand. Species of antelope. It looks scary. <laughs> the eye is too close to this. You know what? Forget about the eye. Here, I'm just going to make a patch right here. Because <laughs> it's too close. Too close to here. Right now it's a big mess. <laughs> I'll fix it. I'll fix it. I quite like it. The antelope, I didn't have a choice, as you saw, uh, just because of the placement of these two large strips. And then I was seeing an eye here. 
So I went with it and I'm quite proud of it. I just finished recording the vlog for my patrons as well. I do an exclusive vlog for my patrons. I did that. I have a video that's uploading. This morning I didn't really do any morning art. How come? Oh, I started something. That's true. <laughs> Wait. I did splashes. That's good. <laughs> splashes on a page but look how nice the splashes came out oh boy um i'll let you know how i did this because these are not normal splashes as you can tell they're quite even and even and sporadic but like very strong not like like flicking the i didn't flick the brush to get these splashes let's just put it this way oh intrigued huh <laughs> i'll show you Okay, I'm off. I need to work now. I'll talk to you later. I forgot to share something else with you. I received a package. Uh, I don't know when. I know it's Sunday. There's no delivery, but I've received it in the mail. I ordered uh, an empty palette, like a metal box for my watercolors as well as half pans, empty half pans, because I have outgrown all the palettes that I have. And it's really a pain to have to have like three, four different palettes open on your best. Oh, on your desk. They sent me something extra. I didn't order this. Okay, so this package is coming from China. When I checked online to see when this order would come, it was giving me like an, an October date. I got it right away. That's the box. But here's what they sent me. They sent me a water brush. As extra that's kind of neat not only is it quick but give you extra stuff this comes from Min Du Zen Ling Chiao Lu <laughs> um, I can't remember the place where I ordered it from but I found it on Amazon oh yeah see cool oh oh is there a trick to this this is blocked. Should I remove this? I guess I have to remove this, huh? Or, oh, no, wait. It goes down. Okay, hold on. No. They don't fit. <laughs> or, oh, you have to screw a different... It's counterclockwise. It's clockwise. That's weird. Okay, whatever. It's got quite, quite the large tip, but, yay, it's free. Thank you whatever name I can't pronounce <laughs> and this is the box I'm quite excited for this let me just grab a pair of scissors here I was thinking of redesigning my studio again ah I was thinking of putting the second desk against the window and taking all my like printer and laptop and whatever onto that desk because right now if I don't have anybody here I'm using it as a um, kind of like a catch-all and it's kind of like very tight here so if I move it against the window I don't know maybe I won't do it okay I should have opened this before coming on the camera okay. here it is Ta -da. so that's the box and it fits 48 half pans or 24 full pans Ooh. This is what it looks like inside. So this is where you slide the empty or the filled in pans. Uh, but as you can see, there's slots for, like I said, 24 full pans or 48 half pans. Yes. So I don't have the pans yet. That will probably come in two months, but at least um, I'm closer to my goal. Quite excited. Oh, so. And it's metal. I find that it's easier to use as a palette on metal and porcelain than it is on plastic. And all of the palettes that I have are plastic, so I use porcelain plates. But if I have something metal, then, and, and if I'm not at home, if I want to uh, take this on the road, then at least I can use the palette uh, that's metal to mix my colors. Very happy. 
Thank you, China, for your prompt um, post service. Maybe Canada should talk to China about their service. So I have this stash of watercolor projects, swatches, and all that that have been accumulating. And I needed greeting cards. Uh, I didn't have any in my stash because I, I have gifts to send out. And so I decided to use these to create greeting cards. And this is what I've been doing first. I'm going to show you how I handled this. So here are little stashes of circles and leaves. So I've already cut into three, four pieces of paper. These are orange uh, circles. I have circles and leaves here that are green and turquoise. I've got some in blue. I'm going to show you what I've done. So here are my cards. I've left them blank because I want to create a little stash for when I need them. And so what I did is I took my, this is a foam mat that I had back in my Stampin' Up! days. And I have a paper piercer. So I took each circle and I poked holes all around. And then I used my white gel pen to create full stitching. And this is what I came up with. And I think they're just so pretty. See how cute they are. And I'm probably going to, of course, add a little center with gold watercolor. But these are all watercolor papers that were destined to the garbage. And I have another stash down here. You see this? These two stashes. There's one on the right. This one here. All these could be turned into cute little projects. So don't get rid of your rejects. Um, you know, sometimes I like to rework on them and create something else. Sometimes it works, but sometimes a piece just does not lend itself well to that, uh, but can still be reused in a different way. Oh my gosh, they are so cute. <laughs> I could have done a hundred of these. It was so much fun to make. I just added the gold in the middle of each of them. Look how cute! Okay, now I want to show you the gold. And, oh, there we go. They're all different. I love when the cat when the light catches the gold. This one I just finished, so it's not even dry yet. Look how cute they are! Oh. <laughs> what a day. Uh, it's close to midnight right now, so I'm going to call it a night. Um, I haven't checked on my internet situation since I last spoke to you. I know that my Patreon video finally uploaded and processed, so I'll be able to push that through, which is, you know, better than what I thought it would be. <laughs> Um, I still have to edit this vlog, but it might have to wait until tomorrow morning. I was going to swatch the goals, but I didn't have time. Um, I Because I had packages to send, so I managed to package uh, four big envelopes like this. So, yay. Plus another one. Then I did my cards. I'm so in love with my cards. They're so darn cute. Look at it. Ah, uh, you know, this is a good thing to do when you find yourself in a rut. Keep those pieces of paper for gray days or uh, lack of mojo days. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. I like them because they're all different. I'm so excited about this, you have no idea. <laughs> I mean, I used to be a card maker, but you know what? You don't limit yourself to cards. You can make bookmarks. You can make, oh, you can cover notebooks with that. You can do a whole bunch of things. And it's so much fun. Oh, I forgot to mention that I also uh, used um, a marker to create the stems. Yeah, see here. <sighs> They're cute. <laughs> get over how cute they are. There's a couple of things I wanted to talk to you about. Sharon Belanger, who's one of my subscribers, 
brought up a huge mistake that I made in my last vlog because I mentioned that Scrapbooks on Trial, when it's your birthday, they offer a 40% discount. That's not the case. It's 25% discount. So thank you, Sharon. Um, I've actually managed to edit the video directly from YouTube that cut out that little part where I mentioned it. But just be aware, my local people, um, it's not 40. <laughs> it's 25. Also, update on the matte, matte situation. Um, many of you are suggesting that I watch Marta's video and Marta's Lakoska who is Marry Me Small Art. This is where I got the idea in the first place. That's why I'm on the hunt for this mat and I do have a small one. However, um, I want a bigger one for my main desk where I film and I think now I may have found one at Ikea. So I'm going to go um, hopefully this week if I have time. If not, it'll have to wait until the week after because um, it's not close to me. So, um, fingers crossed. <laughs> Again, talking to my local people, my two upcoming classes this coming weekend at GG Studios, they were sold out. However, one person had to cancel for the Sunday. So if anybody's interested, there's one spot uh, left to grab on the Sunday morning from 10.30 to 1.30. Also, um, Nancy Overbury, who will be the guest artist at GG Studio, the dates have been confirmed. It's October 8th, um, a session in the morning and in the afternoon, and then October 12th. Yes, October 12th, which is a Wednesday um, in the morning. Okay, the weekend vlog is officially over. <laughs> I got nothing else to say. I'm tired. I want to go to bed. So thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below and I will see you later. Bye! Hey, remove the stencil so we can see it. Whoa, look at that! Are you happy? I am ecstatic.